Video presentation for the 2021 Robo Cup Singapore Open competition. My team ID is SG 1716. But my team. My name is Sergius and I am from Singapore. I have chosen robotics as my co curricular activity for four years since primary three. I have also participated in competitions before such as RoboCup and other robotics related competitions. The summary of the preliminary challenge. The challenge task is to collect the objects and deposit them at the orange deposit zone to gain points. The category that I am involved in is Cold Space Rescue U12. The problem that I faced is that the bot moves without collecting the objects. So, the method I used to solve the problem is to set the robot to move slower, and as a result, the bot manages to pick up the objects. The analysis of the challenge. The challenge mission is to get the most points at the end of the given time of 6 minutes. During the run, the robot has to collect the red, cyan and black objects and deposit them in the orange deposit zone. It also has to avoid the blue color trap. If not then, it will lose all the objects that it is currently carrying. Now, I'm going to talk about the AI algorithms and resources that I used. The AI algorithm that I used is that I set the robot to move forward until it detects an object. Then, it will collect the object and continue moving forward. If it detects the deposit zone, it will stop and deposit. And if it detects the yellow border around the trap, it will turn and move away from the trap. Now, let me get my bot started with my program. As you can see here, the robot is currently collecting the red object. This is the cyan object. And this is the black object. These are the blue color traps which the robot is not supposed to step in. But then it will lose all its points like I said earlier. This yellow border is to help the robot detect be and avoid the trap. And these orange areas like I said are the deposit zones. The red gems are worth 10 points, while the cyan gems are worth 15 points. The black gems are worth 20 points. And this area here is the blue zone. All objects that are collected are worth double the points. For example, this normal red object here is usually worth 10 points, but now in the, in the blue zone, it is worth 20 points. So now, let me direct your attention back to my presentation. The tools and resources I used are videos I have seen from previous RoboCup competition winners. And I used them to try to visualize their program and make quick implementation of my own. Now, how do I do the implementation? I learned the way they make the bot move and fine tune my own algorithm from there. For example, I see how other competitors will make their bot move such that it can easily go into the deposit zone. I programmed my bot in a way that if we have six objects, it will start to move slightly curved, as you can see right here. This way, it is easier for the robot to move into the orange deposit zone. I will also try to avoid making the same mistakes again. So now, I'm going to talk about the debugging of the problem. 
the robot will perform as how I programmed it most of the time. But sometimes, it still does not work. And the possible cause for that is that I set the number distance by too much, or if I arrange the sequence of the program wrongly. So how did I fix the situation? I would run and step through the program, then I would change the program the way I intended it to be, and how I wanted it to run. The conclusion. The robot runs properly without any problem for every run after the fix. And if I was asked to solve the same challenge again, I would definitely be more careful when finding out the codes and would try not to make the same mistakes again. My learning experience in this competition. I learned that the code space rescue software is not one that is very easy to program. So patience is needed. I would like to share with the other CoSpace participants that in order to have a good program, you need time and effort. You cannot get a great program in just an hour or maybe a day. And also, experience helps to improve skills. If you did not win an award for this competition, it is okay as you can still use your experience for, to help you for the future competitions that you take part in. And most importantly, do not rush. If you rush, you might do the steps all wrong. And remember, one step of the program can mess up the entire program, so much that the robot may not even be able to move forward properly or deposit the objects. And I have come to the end of my presentation. Thank you everyone.